Hello and welcome to another edition of Client for Life. Well, with the grand final passed, as would be expected, the uh, auction times were down and uh, obviously uh, very few auctions happened and only 10 out of 16 actually sold, so no surprise. But uh, the RBA came out with another result saying that they were going to keep interest rates on hold, which is no surprise to anybody. I think what the uh, government's really trying to do is they're really looking for employment figures to, to rise. They want to stimulate the economy. And I think what we actually need to watch going into 2016 is that the economy does actually have a nice stepped amount of growth at the moment. If we see another stall in employment figures, I think we might see another quarter of a percent rate drop. It's been very interesting in the last month to start to see the wash up of the difference between investor loans and home loans. As I um, said in a broadcast a couple of weeks ago, we could expect to see home loans uh, more competitive than ever before. We actually did a home loan this week for 4.123%, uh, lowest I've ever seen. I, would, I didn't even know that we could get that low in Australia. But uh, investor loans are sitting at the moment around 4.6, 4.8, some at 5.2. So I don't think we've seen the, the consolidation of that coming into effect. And as I've said earlier, I don't think that's going to last more than a year or two. I think that once um, the market is back to where um, it wants to be, and, and what that is, is um, not a runaway market, uh, which I believe um, the Reserve Bank and the Australian Government are concerned about. Obviously, a runaway market puts pressure on first home buyers. Uh, first home buyers are putting pressure on employers, on parents. Um, it becomes a social issue when, when housing is um, out of reach and not affordable. Uh, we shot a, a brilliant first home buyer video the other day on how to get into the market so uh, I'll make sure we pop that on the bottom of this uh, newsletter going out so you can refresh your memories on that. But look, I am seeing first home buyers you know, literally living at home, not going out, squirreling, squirreling away everything they can uh, to get into the market. Unfortunately, Australia, we're so used to it being the lucky country. It's tough. It's, we really are pegged on an international scene property-wise in Melbourne and Sydney. It's very different in um, South Australia, Perth, Brisbane, Tasmania, uh, Queensland, very different. Um, the market's largely stalled. It's, it really has done very little. And I'm getting phone calls and inquiries at the moment saying, you know, Lynn, should we buy in Tasmania? Should we go to Queensland? Uh, and I'm simply saying the same as I've always said, go where you know be local, be able to drive past your properties. I would only go interstate if I had more than a dozen properties and I had a land tax bill right now. Um, other than if you wanted to go into Sydney, and of course you're paying $100,000 more for a one bedroom apartment in Sydney than you are here, probably almost 150 by now. The market's quite crazy. But just to talk a little bit about local and investing, uh, we've, I, I know I say this nearly every week, but we've never been busier. I think with the um, confidence in the market, and certainly more than anything before the confidence in the donut, people are really seeing the value in buying a good property in a good location that's going to attract a good tenant and get a good return. And what I'm really enjoying about our seminars and the education levels of our clients is our clients are really coming up in terms of their overall wealth creation education and that is they know that they're not just looking for capital growth. They know that they're not just looking for return on their investment, their rental returns. They know that they're not just looking at, at their tax and what they can reduce in their tax and what they can get in, in income streams, but they're looking at portfolio planning. And that is um, a bit like, you know, you wouldn't always go out and buy all mining shares or bank shares or, um, uh, you know, emerging shares, that you, you do a little bit of a spread. And uh, I just had breakfast this morning with um, Australia's leading real estate coach and um, he was saying that uh, the, the Melbourne and Sydney markets don't have really, don't appear to be going to drop at all, they're, they're, they're just so strong. And uh, I uh, had a coffee just now with a developer who was explaining to me that they've just gone to China to, um, to launch a, a new development and they loaded the prices by 3% to cover for this new 3% tax for foreign investors, it was not even an issue. Uh, you know, so the market is as strong as ever before. The, the key things as an investor to really look out for at the moment is um, making sure you're getting the right structure because loans are not as flexible as they were. 
um, making sure you're getting the right interest rate with that structure and also not overpaying for your property and that's what's really really keeping me busy at Solid at the moment is I'm getting almost, um, as Olivia said the other day, we're getting almost a project a day being offered to us. We're probably taking on one a fortnight at the moment and it's all about the pricing and we're not adopting um, bull market pricing, we're really looking at pricing and trying to benchmark pricing 2013, 2014, 2015, going into 2016. So, you know, earlier we were buying out at Essendon, uh, which is right on the cusp of the donut for about 7,500 a square meter. It's very hard to get under 8,000 now. Um, a year ago we were paying um, um, eight and a half, nine into Hawthorne and Campbell. They're, they're sitting at almost 10 now. Um, Armadale and South Yarra are looking at 11. Uh, so we're trying to really not get anything over 10,000 a square metre. We're really still trying to stay in that 7,500 a square metre to 9,500 a square metre. And, um, and that's our commitment to you is that you will never overpay for property that you buy through solid and that's the key. All right, well I'll close on that note. Um, Another beautiful uh, day in paradise here in Melbourne. So I hope you enjoy the newsletter and uh, please, we'd love your feedback. Thanks for listening.